everybody welcome to Hello. Brit Pops reaction with me BP1 and BP2 now nice to see ya. we spun that wheel and indeed it came to Indy indeed and we had some requests and we've decided to go with the kills with yes. last day of magic these two people here yeah it was uh, kindly suggested by Peter Richards our new what was going on there <laughs> Sorry. ding ding and you uh, Oh, nice one. Uh, yeah, Peter Richards suggested this one. The kills are live from um, Jonathan Rosho, uh, our recent Patreon. So thank you very much. Um, yeah, yes. kills. Any ideas? Jonathan Ross. Well, the kills, I, I didn't know it by name. Then I saw the picture when I put the picture on. I thought, have I seen them before? Something rings a bell. But there's also a, a band called uh, Subways. Right. And they look similar. Obviously, the okay. subways were a little bit, probably a bit older than that. Um, foot long? Foot long? Not a foot long. Definitely right. not a foot long. Um, <laughs> okay. Right, are ready? Uh, yeah, well, just one thing. I mean, uh, we had the feedback on the spin the wheel to keep it, but we do need your comments in there when it comes up to 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 to, to choose who we're going to do. And obviously, the more left field and, and ones that we haven't done, the better. So... Uh, End of public service announcement. Mind the gap. Brilliant. Let's go. The kills! I mean, okay, that that is indie, isn't it? That that is indie. Very it's bringing back very. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I've been to a lot of gigs. I got a lot of tickets um, back in the day, and I remember sort of like Kings of Leon concerts and stuff like that. This is the sort of music that you sat, you stood there like waiting for them to come on, and you just sort of yeah. into it. It's that sort of. And I'm even getting a bit of T Rex off that guitar. I don't know if you're uh, getting a bit of yeah, T Rex yeah. off that. Yep. Yeah, definitely. And then, I mean, are they kind of 2008? So are they sort of similar to the White Stripes kind of vibe mm. going on? I mean, it's I was just thinking a, of them, but just this roll reversed. Yeah, roll reversed. I mean, we just got that constant drum beat in the background, and and his sort of um, yeah, quite quite a strange style of guitar, and it just sort of all sounds out of tune and, and very overdriven, doesn't it? But like I say, it, it is um, T Rex. Which song is it? I'll think of it, but it's definitely that it's kind a big of one, uh, isn't it? It's the, yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I was on. sat here scratching my head thinking, get, get it, it on, on, get it yeah, on, yeah. bang it on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that, uh, it's good, I, I like it's, it. Yeah, I, like I mean, it's music, interesting, so. yeah, fair play. I mean, it's uh, it's quite a, quite a sort of fuzzy sound. I mean, the Kills are an English-American rock duo formed by American singer Alison W. Moshart and English guitarist Jamie Hotel Hints. Uh, their first four albums, Keep On Your Mean Side, No Wow, Midnight Boom and Blood Pressure, all reached the UK album charts. Uh, the fifth and most recent studio album, Ash and Ice, was released in 2016, re reached the UK top 20. So they're out there, out and about. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen much, but then I've been stuck in different scenes, I suppose. I, not like, you know, yeah. I'm just stuck with that 80s playlist at the moment right yeah so i think you know thanks for this channel to bringing it all these different you know artists for us so the kills 
like I say, I don't know. What's I wonder what their biggest song is, and maybe I've heard that because it's okay. that sort of vibe that I might have heard. So let's keep okay. going. Okay, I'll add some more in a minute then. Yeah. That's really classic indie sort of sounds. That, yeah, you know, all the way coming through there. It's um, I just keep getting all these flashbacks of all these gigs that I went to. It's just that era, that, that kind sound. of vibe, isn't it? You know, it's that you know, vibe. You know, I yeah, feel bad. They, they've had I almost two minutes back to sort of in tune a... in and, and and do a sound so I never, test. I never went they, to know? uni, right? I never went to uni or whatever you call it in the states or whatever. Um, but I used to have friends in uni. And I remember going with them in the pub, you know, and it was like snake bite. And that was ever it was. Snake bite. Everyone drunk snake bite. And, th- and this song reminds me of snake bite because these are the sort of bands that I would just drag myself yeah. into down the old Wedgwood rooms. Uh, and, you know, you end up drinking snake bite and listening to this sort of music. And that's where it's taken me. So, um, yeah, thanks, Peter. That's a good memory for me, actually. So uh, I like this. I like it. I, it's. It's like it's not. It's one of them songs. It doesn't blow you away. It just gives yeah. you that in a playlist. It's just a perfect song in a playlist to just keep going and keep that vibe going onto the next one. It's just. A, it's got some really good beats. I mean, I w- I picked one out there and it was just running through my head. And as you were talking, it, it came to me. It, it, it sounded like um, was it Susie and the Banshees, Hong Kong Garden? Then there was that little riff in there going on. Sounded like Hong Kong Garden. Okay. Um, You've lost me there. So okay, Hong Kong Garden. Yeah, but it was in there. So even I'm <laughs> dragging stuff out of the back of two singing. All right, there's another ten subscribers just disappeared. Um, so Midnight Boom was released in March 2008. Uh, its music was used throughout many American TV shows, including 90210. Uh, a, big, a big selection of songs from the album were featured in hit television series Gossip Girl, and their track Sour Cherry was featured as a soundbed for season two's official trailer. Uh, it also featured in in the Footloose trailer, must be a TV show, uh, as well as the 2008 rom-com The House Bunny. I mean, all of those probably didn't make mm. it here, Gossip Girl. Um, the album picked up new mainstream success for the band with various TV performances in the UK appearing on Later with Jules Holland, Friday Night with Jonathan Ross, T4, the album chart show, Sound, and Live from Abbey Road and from the basement. So there you go. There you go. Still no, none of those um, clicked anything with me. But uh, yeah, as you say, typical sort of indie sound. And like I say, it's got a, um, a very sort of uh, individual way of playing the guitar there. It's in between a sort of a, a pluck and a thumb and a strum sort of thing going on. Mm. Yeah, no, it is good. Uh, if you're enjoying the reaction, I much appreciate it. Hit that like button. Just quick. Ding, ding. Please do. Uh, gets the video out quicker to, to more people. More people to watch it. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Typical Indie 
Yeah, it's typical. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Done. Uh, no on call. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting. Like I say, I mean, the, the, the beat was very simple, just the, the, the guitar over the top. Um, as you say, easy for touring and doing your uh, college night university uh, gigs, isn't it? You know, you and a guitar and um, semi tuned. Off we go. Have it. Yeah, it's good fun. Good indie track. I liked it. Um, of all the indie tracks I know, where would I give that? I'd give it. A, yeah, I, I like it in the background. It was cool. I think it, I'd give it like a seven point nine eight. Yeah, I think I think me. eight's pretty pretty generous. I think uh, it was. I'd say it's, it's, seven point. I'll, I'll, I'll give indie? it a seven point nine. What would you give yeah. it? Um, yeah, probably you're a little bit higher than I am. I'd probably go seven point six i guess indie's not my cup of tea but i mean I, it was it was okay well, 7.8 is about right i mean because let's not yeah. get carried away i mean yeah you know some of the massive indie tracks you know like oh, i don't know but there's loads of them to, do, to even say but you know well, you class oasis in there you class like cast and people like that there's a lot of different you yeah. know kaiser chiefs killers yeah. there's all sorts of you know, crossovers in indie so I think a 7.9, just shy of an 8 for me, is good. So 7.8 overall is cool. 7.8. 7.8 I think is about right for that, yeah. And didn't even have a band, so come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for watching us at Britpop. Yeah, that was your request for yes. Indie on Spin the Wheel. Uh, okay. Be sure on our next uh, BPR Friday show to come along and uh, see what we get spinning next time. And we look forward to hearing from you all. Ooh. Yeah. So Thanks. if that wasn't your cup of tea and you didn't vote or put anything in the comments, <laughs> what can we say? Next yeah. time, make sure you do. Thanks for watching. It's goodbye from me. Uh, goodbye from him. <laughs>